Hey guys, Mortgage Bickle coming back at you with a brand new video. And in this video, we're talking all about PMI. What is PMI? PMI is an abbreviation for private mortgage insurance. So what does this mean? Why do I have to pay it? Why am I getting tapped onto this? So private mortgage insurance is a type of insurance that the borrower pays to protect the lender. How as a borrower are you having to pay this? Well, when you go to get a loan for a conventional financing and you put less than 20% down, the lender is taking a risk. If you are to default and foreclose on the home, the lender is going to take the hit on that. So for that, if you're putting less than 20% down, so anywhere from 0% all the way to 19.99% down, you're gonna have to pay something which is called private mortgage insurance. Paying PMI can vary anywhere from 0.05% of the loan to up to 2% of the loan per year. It all varies based on the amount you borrow, your, the borrower's credit score, and how much you're putting down. All of these factors come into play, and that's why it is crucial just to determine and to know what PMI is and how much you're gonna be spending a month, because that can make up a good portion of your total mortgage amount. You could be spending anywhere from a hundred to three hundred dollars extra on your monthly payment per month just because of PMI. Now hold the phone. Why do I have to pay PMI over the entire life of the loan? That's not true. Once you reach 20% equity in your home, PMI, you can remove it. You can call your lender, have your home appraised, check like, hey, I want PMI removed. Appraisal will come out. If it comes back, you have 20% equity, boom. PMI is removed, now your mortgage payment will drop by how many hundred dollars you were paying for it per month. Automatically, once your home reaches 78% loan to value ratio and you have 70, you have 22% equity in the home, it will automatically cancel out. The difference between the 80 and the 78% is you can be proactive in watching your home's value to determine if you can have it removed so you're not paying for two extra percent or a couple extra payments of PMI which could potentially save you hundreds, if not maybe thousands of dollars. It just depends on where the market is and where your home's coming in value. Apologize, Obi has decided to walk around and is disrupting my video. Stop walking around. <laughs> He's a turd. So, what is an option to not pay PMI? Here's a cool tip. You can have, when you're purchasing a home, you can have the seller pay credits to pay a lump sum to pay off your PMI. What do I mean by that? When you're going to buy a home and you're having to go back and forth between the buyer and the, but you're the buyer and the seller and having to like fight for, hey, we want this off the price, we want this, dot, dot, dot. You can fight for some seller credits to go towards a lump sum to pay off your entire PMI so that once you step into that home, your mortgage payment is actually slightly less because there's no PMI attached to it. This is a good bargaining tool because you can go pay full asking price, ask for some seller credit instead of asking for a lower price and not have to pay as much on a total mortgage monthly payment per month. This can be advantageous for if you're struggling with a debt to income ratio that's sitting at a 45, 48, close to 50% and you just need to squeeze out that little couple hundred dollars to qualify you for that little bit more expensive home, which could potentially be the home with the pool or home with the loft. It just comes down to it and just depends. Now, I hope you guys found this useful because this is something that's not taught or just not expressed. And I just kind of wanted to help give you guys a little bit of tools in your belt so that when you're going out there and buying a home, talking to whatever lender you're working with, you can maybe bring this up and see if this is a possibility. This can potentially save you a lot of money or just a different type of bargaining tool because maybe the home's perfect and you don't need any cash up front to fix it up. But maybe you're just not feeling like you don't want to pay PMI. Have the seller pro provide seller credits to pay off the mortgage PMI. If you guys like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. My phone number is in the comments. Please give me a call if you guys have any questions. Catch you guys in the next video.